Hey guys, in this video we're going to talk about relations and functions, which is a very important introduction to Maths B in year 11. So, a relation is basically the relationship between two or more variables. Now, if you have forgotten about what variables are in algebra, uh, this is a good refresher for you because uh, we're going to start off with a real-life situation of catching a taxi. So the situation is uh, catching a taxi and uh, so let's define our variables. So we have variable number one variable number one when you catch a taxi what are some of the variables well firstly uh, the first thing is obviously how far you're going to travel in the taxi so the variable number one is distance traveled and we're gonna call this variable X and uh, so if we draw a graph of this, the distance traveled will be represented on the x-axis and uh, it's obviously the independent variable. Independent variable. And you will understand what independent means in a second after we introduce you to the other variable. So the other variable is cost how much the taxi driver is going to charge you for um, driving you around the place and the cost is on the y-axis and it's the dependent variable dependent variable so what makes the cost dependent and the distance independent well, if you think about it, the cost sort of depends on how much distance you travel. So therefore, we put cost on the y-axis, which is the dependent variable axis, and the distance is on x-axis, which is the independent variable axis. Uh, so uh, let's have a look at how we can uh, represent this. Now, let's have a look at uh, how the taxi fares are calculated in Brisbane. So this is uh, from taxifare.com.au and you can see that the way taxi fares are calculated is there is a flag for charge which is how much it costs in the beginning before you even before the car even starts driving around this is how much you have to pay and the distance rate is two dollars fourteen per kilometer and the booking fee I guess you have to pay if you have booked for the taxi beforehand and the waiting time uh, we're just gonna ignore we're gonna ignore the booking fee and the waiting time okay so we're just a going to assume that all you have to pay for a taxi is the flag fall and the distance rate which is two dollars fourteen per kilometer so the equation is going to be C equals oops the equation is going to be Y equals and it's two dollars ninety which is the flag fall plus the distance traveled is uh, 2.14 kilometers 2.14 dollars per kilometer times x alright so for example let's say you travel 5 kilometers then you're gonna pay 5 times $2.14 plus the flag fall charge so this, this is the equation now the equation is only one way to represent the relation uh, there are some other ways in which you can represent the relation the first uh, thing we're going to talk about is the table 
using a table to represent the relation. And uh, we have done this in some previous algebra lessons already, but a table is basically a list of values for x and y. Okay, so let's say x is equal to zero kilometers. All right, you haven't even started uh, driving around in the taxi yet, and y is going to be two dollars ninety. Right before you even start before the taxi even starts moving. Now let's say you travel one kilometer in the taxi, right? the car drives one kilometer down the road, you would have paid $2.90 plus $2.14, which is going to be, uh, which is going to be $5.04. And that comes from y equals 290 plus 214 times 1, which is 504. All right. Uh, let's make x is 2 kilometers. And so it'll be y equals 290 plus 2.14 times 2, which is $7.18. So seven dollars eighteen. So we have represented the relation uh, using two methods. We have the table and the equation. Uh, you can also draw a graph. So the graph is uh, obviously you have the x and the y axis. So we have the x-axis, which is 0, 1, 2, and the y-axis, it goes up to $7, so I'm just going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and that's the y-axis. So x is in kilometers, and y is in dollars. Actually, I'm going to put the units in here, kilometers and y is in dollars. Okay, so when x is zero, y is two dollars ninety. Let me draw the dots in another color. So when x is zero, y is two dollars ninety. When x is one, y is five oh four. And when x is 2, y is 7, 18. So you can see that the points join up to a straight line. So if you join up the straight line, uh, this straight line is the equation. y equals 290 plus 2.14 times x. So that is the graph. Uh, another way is we could do a uh, set of ordered pairs. So set, set of ordered pairs. And basically that's just writing x and y in a coordinate system style. So when x is uh, so when x is uh, 0, y is 290. When x is 1, y is 504. When x is 2, y is $7.18. <coughs> uh, you can also do a map, mapping. Uh, so the mapping, let me just scroll down a bit. So the mapping is simply uh, drawing two circles, all right? And let's put all the possible numbers for x in one circle. So we have zero, one, two, and so on. And for y, we got two ninety five oh four seven eighteen, and so on. And let's just draw the arrows. 
So zero kilometers corresponds to two ninety, one dollar corresponds to five oh four and so on. So that is the mapping representation. So all of these these five methods, so we have equation table graph, ordered pairs, and mapping. These are five ways of representing a relation. Now, uh, another thing you need to learn is the domain and range of a relation. So the domain and range. Now the domain is uh, the set of all possible values. Uh, all possible values for x. Is 0 is smaller than or equal to x smaller than or equal to uh, well I guess you can travel for as long as you want um, in a taxi but let's just say that uh, the taxi doesn't uh, want to leave Brisbane so uh, let's just say uh, 200 kilometers okay um, and the range is the y values the range is the set of all possible y values So that was in kilometers. Um, so let's just say, uh, well, obviously we know that you're gonna have to pay at least two dollars ninety, um, and uh, let's say the taxi. Well, really, it's gonna depend on what X is, isn't it? So if you travel two hundred kilometers. Right, two hundred times two dollars fourteen plus two ninety is four hundred and thirty dollars. Oops, four hundred and thirty dollars, and that just comes from two hundred kilometers. Putting two hundred kilometers into the equation. Okay, so that's what the domain and range means. Okay, uh, I've decided to put functions in our next tutorial in another video, so I'll see you then. Thanks for watching.